I'm joined by meteorologist, Chief Meteorologist Chris Scott, and we're chatting about the catastrophic flooding that's occurred across the province of Nova Scotia. Incredible timing. Over the course of my career, I've seen a lot of flooding, and one of the biggest concerns was always, what if this happens in a city? And it just wasn't Halifax and HRN, but it was a large area. This certainly though ranks as one of the highest impact flash floods in Canadian history. Uh, that's a phenomenal stat, Chris. And it's the duration of this setup. We had a very moist, unstable southwest yep. flow really run up the coast of Nova Scotia. Walk us through this timing here. Yeah, so as this loop completes, you'll see, okay, the same area basically getting rain. But watch what happens overnight. Uh, there were after midnight, and then it really lines up between Bridgewater and Windsor, West Hants. If you go back to the start now, we'll see what happens at the very initial phase of this event, because that's when Halifax uh, and areas just north got the worst. Watch this. The storms just keep coming. Same place, same place, same place for about five to seven hours. And that's what did the damage in places like Bedford. And, and look at these totals. I mean, potentially over 300 millimeters. Even if we didn't measure that by a station, we're pretty confident there was well over 250 in some areas. And, and that's a summer's worth of rain. That's a June, yeah. July, and August. That's tough to really wrap your head around. These yeah. rainfall totals, and we can zoom right in to the Halifax region, and some of these totals are well over 200 millimeters. There's Bedford, Hammond Plains, 230 millimeters of rainfall in just sh such a short duration, Chris. That's the key, is intensity. So I know there were a lot of uh, discussions about how this related to a hurricane. I believe it was Beth back in 1971. Similar types of amounts. However, that was over a longer period of time. And it's just like, you know, you're in the bathtub and you take a, a bit of water and you pour it down. Well, if you're pouring it quicker, guess what? It's going to do more, more things. It's going to go faster in different places. If you just pour it slowly, it's going to disperse more slowly. So it's all about the intensity. And that's why this was not just, uh, you know, okay, it's a big event. It was historic and it did things we've never seen before in this part of the country. And it occurred well up into the watershed across the higher yeah. terrain. So that really stressed a lot of the rivers and creeks and really a lot of road washouts. The elephant in the room, can we immediately tie this to yeah. climate change? You think, Chris, are certain aspects of this becoming more frequent? Yeah, so I always like to start with the fact that with climate change, overall, it's a negative for the world. And there's things we know that are getting worse. And one of them is flooding. We know that, or at least heavy rainfall. Can get worse. So in, let's say, the Maritimes 50 years from now, we will likely see more of these events and we'll see less blizzards. That's just what happens in a warming world. Now, can we link this event? Well, that gets a bit tricky, but let's just say this. It's more likely. We have warmer water in the Atlantic Ocean. I'm not sure how much this played a role. We have warmer than normal water just off the South Shore. It certainly doesn't hurt the situation, but I think a lot of this event came down to the fact that we had, yes, very moist air coming up from the South, but it was random in the convection. The thunderstorms just sat in the right place or the wrong place. And, you know, we often look at these events and think, wow, look at this, it's getting really bad. If this keeps going, we're gonna get a flood and it stops. This one just didn't stop. It just kept going and going. It's a, there's a fine line with a flash flood event, Chris. We chatted yep. about this when you tip over that edge, the point of no return. Now, the wildfire season has been prolific and record breaking across Canada. Is there any link to this flooding with the recent significant wildfire in the Halifax region? Probably not, too small of an area. But if you look at Nova Scotia and you go back to last year, we've had Fiona. Then you have the fires. Now you've got more flooding. There's no question that the climate in Nova Scotia, that the odds are increasing for these types of events.